Out of Focus is brought to you by Garage Build. Submit your build, share your passion. Powered by Dennis Kirk. My name's Robert Carmen from Simsbury, Connecticut. This was a relatively stock 2010 Fat Boy when I bought it and I pretty much modified everything that you could modify to this thing. And I went with an Arlen Ness slash grip because I specifically needed a set of grips. Well, one, that were kind of different, but two, had slats in it that would allow me to remove one of them in order to replace it with, over here, uh, some, some sort of switch setup. Because I needed four switches for this I needed an up down for the air suspension and I needed an on off, on and off for the LED light system. So internal throttle and that internal throttle was from Exile Cycles and internal uh, wiring, internal uh, hydraulic lines. And in, in doing that, I had no choice but to convert the clutch from a cable clutch, which most people have, to a hydraulic clutch. Hog Halters bought Renegade wheels, so their Hog Halter slash Renegade instigator 18 inch wheels. The front is an eight and a half, and the rear, I believe it's 10 and a half. The paint is from a guy in Long Beach, California, by the name of Mitchell Johnson. I shipped all the parts, the, the fenders and the tank, out to him, and he painted it. And he did some, some hand pinstriping, and obviously he did some silver leafing by hand. And this was his first time ever doing silver leaf. And then he did the, uh, the, the airbrush graphic on the side. So the gas tank I had modified uh, and stretched out in uh, Bristol, Connecticut by a company named Melnick Metals. The three pieces of metal and then weld them all together and then weld them onto the tank after. So we've got hog halters, instigator, air cleaner. Uh, we got hog halters, rotors that match the wheels, instigator wheels, the hog halters, uh, uh, calipers, front and rear. Fat boy community is, is basically anti-changing of the wheels because that's to them what makes a fat boy a fat boy is the wheels. So I ended up getting you know this idea from from Rick's in uh, in Germany, and so I wanted the bike to be. I wanted the people to be able to see the wheels unobstructed by rotors while it was on the kickstand. So when you look at the rear wheel, you can see it. You can see this this massive hub that's here, and you can just see the the make of the wheel and the the artistic work that went into it. Really, uh, the pipes are Vance and Hines big radius pipes. This. This air system I have on this is made from Legend. It's a Legend Air Ride modified, heavily modified. The air tank is made by Deadline Customs and the air tank allows me to go instant up and instant down. I don't do this for a living, but I race mountain bikes and I race road bikes and I built all my bicycles that I had. Because I was in the Navy as an electronics tech, it allowed me to, it, it kind of gave me the skills and the ability to do all the wiring and all the soldering and all the modifying electronically that I that needed to be done on this. I basically did the build in an office. Over the winter, from January to May, I had a client that had office space, so obviously lit, heated, everything, and it, it gave me the convenience to work on this thing in a heated space in the winter up in Connecticut. Um, and then he rented it out to somebody, so I had to move out in May. So it ended up in my living room for two months, and that's where I finished it. My name is Robert Carmen from Simsbury, Connecticut, and I'm a Dennis Kirk garage builder.